A few years ago, we visited my old high school campus to hold a leadership training. When I ran into one of my old teachers, I took the opportunity to introduce her to my teammates from the ministry. But to my surprise, she began to tell them about my high school years. It was so embarrassing. Before meeting Jesus, I lived a life of foolishness and disobedience, a slave to my own pleasures and passions as a teenager. I praise God that He reached out to us long before we reached out to Him, that we were rescued from our sinful life by the kindness and love of God. As it says in Titus 3 verse 4 to 7, But when God our Savior revealed His kindness and love, He saved us not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He washed away our sins giving us a new birth and a new life through the Holy Spirit. He generously poured out the Spirit upon us through Jesus Christ, our Savior. And because of His grace, He made us right in His sight and gave us confidence that we will inherit eternal life. We can get so lost in a sinful way of living. We cannot change ourselves. What more to save ourselves? But the grace of God appeared, bringing salvation to all men. Jesus washes away our sins, reconciles us back to our relationship with Him, and gives us a new life and renewed identity. God's grace leaves us a different person from who we used to be. It allows us to put off our old self and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. And He is not done changing us, our character, our way of thinking, and our way of living. Every day we struggle with the temptations of this broken world and the brokenness brought about by sin. And yet, every day we also experience the sufficient grace of God that allows us to live a life holy and pleasing to the Lord, a life that is lived victoriously. I pray that God's grace and mercy will be displayed in every good work that we do. Let us show this world how the grace of God changes us from the inside out. Have a great day.